Struggling to find a relationship? Think that good girls just don't exist anymore? Well, we're gonna change that belief today, okay? So this is how you can get into a relationship with a woman that is attracted to you, that follows you, and not only that, complements your life. So if you're looking for a relationship, if you're looking for a good girl to settle down with, this is how we're going to achieve that. Let's dive right in. So the first thing, you're gonna to wanna to be less serious and more casual. This may seem like a contradiction, but I'll explain in a second. And you're gonna to wanna to be less needy and more choosy. Now, how you accomplish all of this at once is by dating casually, not sleeping around casually, okay? Dating casually. You are allowed to date multiple women at once. Okay, if you're not in a relationship, you can see multiple women at once. Women see multiple men at one time. It is okay. Okay, if you, as long as you're not lying to her, as long as you're not saying, no, baby, I'm not seeing anyone else, this is totally fine. I'm seeing four or five different women right now. I don't even know how many. And, that's, and they all know about each other and they're all totally okay with it. There is no moral gray area here. This is completely and 100% fine. You do not have to see just one woman at a time. In fact, I would suggest that you don't, which is why I'm saying date casually. When you date casually, it makes you less serious. When you only see one girl at a time, you're going to be like super focused on what's next and how to lock her down. And you're going to be talking about a relationship all the time. And it's going to scare her off. When you are more casual, when you're seeing multiple women, when you're seeing what there is out there to offer, what these women have to offer, and you know you're not locked in on one, then you're much more laid back and it's much more, it's much more in the moment. It's much more fun. It's much more, she it gives her time to experience you and to warm up to you and to start to actually like you. Women go on dates to see what happens. Okay, this is, this is how women approach dates. This needs to be how you're approaching dates or else you will not be in a aligned energetically, okay? So when you're too serious, you think, oh, I could never. I could never go on a date with a girl with like, maybe, maybe you think girls with like a septum piercing. Maybe she's, uh, she's not wifey material. Or maybe you think uh, I could never date a girl from an app. OK, because, you know, apps, all the girls on the apps are trashy. Well, I'm here to tell you some of the most sweet and feminine and caring and nurturing women I have ever met. I have met that had notice rings and that I've met on apps. OK, I've met some of the best some of the best women in places you would not expect. And I've met some of the worst women in person. OK, just because you meet a girl in person and you cold approach her at the grocery store doesn't mean you're going to get a relationship from it. OK. It's 2024, a lot of women are using apps. It's not just to hook up like it used to be, you know, back when it first came out. So when you're less serious and you're just casual, you're just seeing what's out there, you're just going on dates, experiencing women, it allows you to open yourself up to a wider net of women. When you originally would be judging that girl by her cover, but the book by its cover, now you go out on a date with her, you just see what's up, she's a cute girl, maybe she's got a couple red flags, but just because she has a red flag doesn't mean you can't see her, okay? Not all red flags are deal breakers, okay? All deal breakers are red flags, but not all red flags are deal breakers, okay? So if you see a red flag or two, just keep an eye on it. You don't have to just not see her because she has, you know, a tattoo or a piercing or whatever. So when you date casually, this also allows you to just be more in your body. A big reason dudes struggle with women is they're all in their head. They're thinking too much. Women are feelers. Okay. When you're with a woman, you need to be feeling and connecting. Okay. You're going to, you're going to notice that I talk about chemistry a lot when I'm talking about women, because that's all it is. The factual stuff matters very, very little. It's all about the energy. So when you date casually, you are allowing her to come to you, which is what women want to do. Women want to nurture the relationship. Women want to seek the relationship. Women want to tame the lion. When you, trigger warning, trigger warning, click off the video if you're sensitive right now. When you seek a relationship with a woman, you're in your feminine energy, okay? Women seek relationships. Men build and create. They create the life that they want to invite a woman into. The woman is the one who's supposed to build the relationship, okay? So 
she's going to start to give you signals and signs that she wants a relationship. If she ever does, she might not want a relationship. And again, you don't have to be sleeping with this girl, but she will give you the signs. She'll be talking about, oh, like, where are we going? What do you see? Uh, when am I seeing your parents? Oh, we should go on a trip, like, you know, like an like a actual long vacation. These are signs that she wants a relationship with you and not just to continually casually date where you're seeing other women because that's going to give her uh, competition anxiety, which is good. She's going to want to lock you down once she starts to get to know you and like you over a couple months. This is how it works. And when you, when you seek a relationship, you are in your feminine energy and she's in her feminine energy. And if you're both in your feminine energy, there is no room for attraction. One person has to be at the masculine, one person has to be at the feminine. That's the only way this works. Sexual compatibility and sex are not everything, but they are a large something. And it, without it, nothing will work in terms of relationships, okay? So you have to be more casual, okay? Just be more casual, take this less serious, and you will have more success. I could call three different women in my phone right now and be in a relationship today, okay? But I'm in a transient part of my life. I don't know where I'll be living the next in six months from now. So because of the situation I am in my life, I'm seeing women, I'm dating women, but I'm not looking for anything serious. I absolutely love relationships. I absolutely plan to get married, but not right now. Right now I'm still building way too much. I still have so much to do and I can't give a, a woman proper focus or attention or time or any of that or the proper resources to be quite honest with you. I have a, I have a more grand vision for when I get into a relationship. So I'm not looking for a relationship right now. Secondly, when you date casually, again, not sleeping casually, date casually, you become so much less needy. You get to choose the girls who choose you, okay? I, I, like I said, I'm seeing about five women right now and three of them are choosing me. Okay. Some of these women that I, some of the women that you're able to hook up with or sleep with, they're not actually that into you. They're not actually going to choose you. They're not actually wife material. I have women bake me treats. I have women take care of me when I'm sick. I have women clean my apartment. I have women do all sorts of, get me gifts. I have women do all sorts of different things for me because they're choosing me. They've gotten to know me over several months and they like me and they want to continue to take care of me. So they do all these great things. If I were in a place where I wanted to get into a relationship right now, I could choose from one of these three women. Okay. Three gorgeous, amazing women that I just don't think I could give enough to right now. I'm not in a place for a relationship, so I'm not offering that to them. But even still, they're happy to be in my life. They're happy to be the feminine to my masculine, okay? So when you, this allows you to be choosy when you date casually, but when you don't date casually, when you date one girl at a time and you put all this pressure on her, you are extremely needy. You're extremely needy. You need her to do this, this, and this, and that. You have all these expectations for her. And she's, like I said, she's just seeing what happens. You're coming in with this, like, how do I keep her? Okay, that's a repulsive energy. When you approach a situation or a relationship with the energy of how do I keep her, it's going to push her away. But when you approach it, like how does she fit into my life? You see how this is a different mind frame? Dating multiple women allows you to see who likes you for you, allows you to see who complements your life, and allows you to see who is your energetic opposite, okay? Who is the yin to your yang, okay? That is what dating casually allows you to do. You don't have to sleep with these women. You don't have to do anything past kissing if you don't want to, but you are only hurting yourself and you're only hurting your future relationship if you are not dating casually and if you are not seeing multiple women at once. There's no two ways about it. She wants to be the one to come to you with the I want a relationship energy. She wants to come to you saying, I want to lock you down. She does not want you coming to her saying, let's start a relationship. It doesn't work that way. It's going to repulse her and it's going to give her the power in the relationship. So even if you were to end up in a relationship, it's going to allow her to be in the dominant masculine role and she's not going to want to follow you. It's going to kill the polarity and you'll be screwed from the jump. So date casually. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. <sighs> Stacking every month. Put that work in. I deserve to stay. Huh. Bring the baddies to the front. It's the type of life that I want. It's the type of life that I want. It's the type of life that I want.